Good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. Happy 4th of July. For those of you guys who celebrate the 4th of July, I know everybody doesn't, but happy 4th of July to you. I know a lot of people are probably off work today. I don't know how many people are going to be on here watching, but of course, you know I'm going to show up regardless, whether it's a holiday, whether I'm off work, it doesn't matter. I'm here because if I woke up, I'm winning, and if you woke up, you're winning, right? So welcome to this morning's episode of If You Woke Up, You're Winning. My name is Panique Singleton from connectwithpanique.com. Thank you so much for joining me on this holiday. So let's get this message started, all right? Good morning, Deshay. I know I, good morning, Precious. I know I don't usually do shout outs at the beginning, but I know I don't know who I was going to be on here because it's a holiday. So what's up, y'all? All right, let's go ahead and get this thing started. Um, so yesterday, we were talking about figuring out your purpose, you know, kind of figuring out your what's your vision, you know, what do you want to do in life, right? Um, let's see. I don't know why I got this car on. Hold on, y'all. I turned it on because I was going to use the air conditioning, but it's, I feel like it's too loud. Anyway, so yesterday we talked about finding your purpose, finding your vision. You know, what's your mission? What are you going to do in life, right? And, and I was going to move on and talk about something different, but I feel like this is such an important topic. Like, I feel like we talked about that, but somebody's still sitting there saying, but how do I do that? You know, how do I figure that out? You know, how do I go about this process? So I kind of want to spend a little bit of time today because somebody needs this part today right? So what I want to do is I want to talk to you about how you can help figure that out. You know, I hear a lot of people say, oh, I want to own my own business. I want to uh, work for myself. I want to work from home. I'm looking for the perfect job. Now we talked about the perfect job, I think a couple weeks ago, and I was saying that doesn't exist. You have to create the perfect job that you're looking for, right? But either way, when they say they want their own business or they want to do something different, a lot of people say, but I don't know what I want to do right? A lot of people say, I don't know what I want to do. And, and so that's what I want to talk about today. I want to talk about, think about what you like to do, right? Think about what you're good at. You know, so many people miss this. So many people decide not to start a business or, you know, not to work on their own or whatever be, because they're overlooking it, right? They're overlooking it. And I've, I've kind of touched on this topic before, but we're going to go over it again. You know, somebody may not have been here that day or maybe you need to hear it again, right? Sometimes I got to hear things more than once. Like most of the time, I got to hear things more than once, right? But anyway, so people miss it because they overlook it. And the reason they overlook it is because it's actually really, really simple, all right? So think about it. What are you good at? What are your strengths? What comes easy to you, right? See, a lot of people... Don't look at that because a lot of times when you're thinking about business, you're thinking about work. And when you're thinking about work, you're not necessarily thinking about fun or you're not necessarily thinking about something that's easy. You know, you're thinking about it's got to be hard, right? When we associate work with something that's hard, something that's difficult. And it will be hard sometimes. I'm not going to lie. I mean, it'll be hard even when you're doing something that you like, but that's okay because you're doing something that you like. So, so what am I saying? What I'm saying is... Use your natural talents, use things that you like, use your interests to spark your business, right? I was talking to somebody um, over the weekend about this, and I was just saying, like, if you're good at planning, you know, every time somebody has a birthday, every time somebody has a baby shower, your friends ask you to plan the event, event planning, that's the actual business. But you never thought of that because you love to do it, right? You know, if every time there's that, that girl's trip comes around for the year, your friends always say, oh, you, you plan it, you know, just tell me how much I got to pay and I'll go. Why? Because you're good at finding the right resorts. You're good at finding the best destinations. Travel agent, right? It, it's really something simple, but you never thought about doing that as a job because for you, it's fun. You like to do that, right? You know, I was talking to my sister this weekend and um, and she was just talking about how one of her friends really is very organized and like she'll organize her whole closet and everything is like color coded and it just looks really nice and neat. And, you know, she said even one of their other friends asked her one time, oh, can you do mine? That's a business, right? You can charge people for that. You know what I mean? There's so many ways that you can make money legally, right? Legally. And, and you don't even know it, right? You like to eat. You could be a food critic, a restaurant critic. I mean, anything that you're good at, you could pretty much turn into a business or a job. Now, some of you guys are saying, okay, yeah, that's cool, organizing closets or being an event planner. But yesterday you talked about leaving a legacy, you talked about making an impact. So how am I going to make an impact organizing people's closets? See, you're not looking at the big picture. You're making an impact. You're leaving a legacy. 
not necessarily because of what you're putting in the world. You don't necessarily have to write a book. You don't necessarily have to be like maybe doing something in the schools or whatever. A lot of people think about that. If I'm going to impact the world, I got to do something on a certain something at a certain level. Or I got to do a certain thing. But think about it. You are building a business. I don't care what the business is. I don't care if it's designing closets or if you're eating and you're a restaurant critic. You've built a business. So what you're doing is you're leaving a legacy for your family. So that's what you're doing, right? We always talk about generational curses. But let's start creating some generational blessings, right? What about some generational blessings? And that starts with generational wealth. You know, give your kids somewhere to start. So that's how you're leaving your legacy. That's how you're impacting the world, right? And I'm not just talking about the money. I'm talking about you being a role model for your children. See, a lot of us are in the situations that we're in today because of what we've seen, right? We've seen our parents work two, three jobs. We've seen our parents, you know, work jobs, period. So we think that's what you have to do, right? But imagine if our kids saw us being entrepreneurs, if our kids saw us owning our own businesses, then they're going to think that's the normal thing to do. See, we get where we are because of our environments, because of what we see growing up. So think about if your child grows up in a house where, where you, if you're a single parent or if there's two parents in a house, both of you guys are business owners. They're going to think that's the way to go. And when their friends are looking for jobs, they're going to be like, you're getting a job? And they're going to be confused, right? Because they're going to think that the way to go is entrepreneurship. Why? Because that's what they've been around. That's what their environment has been. So that's the legacy that you leave. I don't care if it's organizing closets or planning trips. If you can build a business doing it, that's your legacy. That's the impact, right? And who knows what your kids are going to go on to do because of what you've done. You've shown them the way, right? So that's what your impact is, right? That's what you're doing. Now, don't get me wrong, guys. I know I talk a lot about building businesses and building wealth and all that. I don't have anything against jobs, right? I have a job. However, and so I don't have anything against anyone that has a job. Let's be clear. But I know there's a better way. And I just, and I know we can have more. And I want to educate everyone on the fact that we can do something different. We can have more. We don't have to be placed in this box. There's other opportunities. There's unlimited opportunities. Like, there's a ceiling right here. There's no ceiling on your opportunities, though. You can go so far you can go so high and that's what i just want everybody to understand you know so you've probably heard this quote before and i'm going to close on this note there's this quote that says if you don't work to build your own dreams somebody's going to hire you to build theirs i don't want to build theirs i want to build mine i mean if i'm going to be working anyway I'd rather work on something that means something to me i'd rather work on something that's going to be beneficial to my family generations to come and not even just my family. Other people might see what I'm doing and they might say, you know what? I want to do that too. So you inspire other people. That's what I want to do, right? I don't want to build anybody else's dream. I want to build my own dream and I want to make a difference in this world. And yes, you can do that by doing something that you enjoy. You can do it by doing something you enjoy. So if you're one of those people that have been sitting there, you know, thinking about what can I do? What kind of business can I start? Start with what you like to do. Start with what you're good at and figure out how people can pay you to do it. You know, I was talking to my brother-in-law over the weekend and I'm like, you know, the key is to figure out how to get paid for doing something you like to do. And that's it, right? I know it sounds simple. And I know some of you guys are saying it's not that simple, but it is. You just got to sit down and, and break down your thinking on a different level. See, you've been thinking, like, I want you to think big, but I don't want you to overthink, right? The answer's right in front of you. So think big. Dream big, but don't miss what's right in front, all right? All right, cool. I'm going to get out of here. I hope that you guys enjoyed this message. I hope you got something out of this message. Maybe that helped you. Maybe you were sitting there thinking, what can I do? So now maybe you have a better idea, or maybe you're going to sit down today and figure it out in between barbecues, right? I know y'all going to the cookouts because it's 4th of July. But um, y'all have an awesome and amazing day. I really appreciate y'all hanging out with me on this holiday. I know a lot of you, you know, maybe didn't have to get up this early. You didn't have to go to work. So I appreciate you. Good morning again to Shay and Precious, Leroy. It says there's other people watching, but they haven't left any comments. So I don't really know who else is on here. But I appreciate you anyway. If you're catching the replay, I appreciate you as well. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, comment, and share so somebody else can see this, right? You know they sleeping in. So you got to like, comment, and share so we can keep this thing going so they can see it when they get up, all right? So look, I'm going to get out of here. But before I go, as always, I want you to get off of Facebook right now. And I want you to get out there and be great on purpose, all right? Because I believe in you. I know you can do it. 
You just have to believe in yourself and make the choice to be great. So you get out of there and choose greatness on this 4th of July. And I will see you guys tomorrow morning, right? Y'all be safe out there, by the way. You know, it's a holiday. People act crazy. Please be careful. Enjoy. Don't eat too much. Now stay focused, even though it's a holiday. All right? All right, y'all have a great day. I'll see you guys tomorrow.